Now, this is our equation where we left. Now, this highest power lambda cube, then lambda square. 6 and 1, 7 lambda square. Then lambda minus 6 minus 4 minus 10. And plus 10, minus 10 plus 10, 0. This is 4. And to 6, 42 minus 6, 36. So it is, take this on right hand side, just to make highest power positive. Now what we have to do, we have to find out the roots and you know how to solve cubic polynomial or equation, right? How can we solve it? Just hidden trial method, put that value which can make it zero and that is try minus one, minus two and it is minus two where we get zero. How? Minus two cube is minus eight, minus Minus 2 square is plus 4. So minus 8. 7, four, seven times 4 is 28. Minus 36 plus 36. It will result into 0. Right? So that means lambda plus 2 is our root. Right? So divide it with lambda plus 2. I know you know everything like how to solve this and that but still for those who don't know how to solve cubic polynomial I'm just sharing it with you so lambda this is lambda cube multiplied with lambda square so it is lambda cube 2 lambda square minus minus plus now here you have lambda, you have to make minus lambda, 9 lambda square, so minus 9 lambda, minus 9 to the 18, the lambda, 18 lambda plus 36, multiplied with 18, it is 18 lambda plus 18 times 2 is 36. Got it? Now you can see that this dividend is split into this divisor, this quotient and this remainder. So, the value will become, this will be transformed into divisor into quotient plus remainder which is 0. So, lambda plus 2, split it. How to split it? Multiply the highest coefficient, highest power coefficient and the constant. 18 times 1 is 18. Split 18 in, in the way that it can be split in addition and subtraction to form 9. So 6 3 is 18 and if, if we add 6 and 3, it will result into 9. So 6 lambda, 3 lambda, so lambda plus 2. Take lambda common, lambda minus 6, minus 3, lambda minus 6. Take lambda minus 6 common lambda minus 3. So what are the eigenvalues which we have got now? Minus 2, 6 and 3. Then we put all of them 0, right? Now it's turn to find out eigenvectors. How can we find out eigenvectors? So for that you have to put these three values into your main equation where you have taken initially a minus lambda i determinant 0 right now you have to consider another eigenvalue function which is in terms of x x matrix which has x y z of the order 3 by 1 what does it mean see you have a minus lambda i and let, let's take it as a matrix and you have now x it should be 0 Okay, just, just like when we calculate inverse of a matrix, we take Ax is equal to B, right? Here, whenever we were solving the equation, we took the 0 equals to 0. So, we are taking 0 here. Now, E minus lambda I, we already have taken this. 1 minus lambda, 5 minus lambda, 1 minus lambda. Rest all are same, right? This is your one matrix, A minus lambda I. And your X is in terms of x, y, z of the order 3, 3 rows and 1 column, 3 by 1. It is order 3 by 3. 
it is of order 3 by 1. So, the matrix which will form is, you have to nullify these two, it will become 3 by 1, right? So, how you can calculate 3 by 1? First of all, make it easier by putting minus 2, 6 and 3 simultaneously in place of lambda. So, 1 minus minus 2. So, 1 plus 2 is 3. 5 minus, because I am putting minus 2 in place of lambda first. 5 minus minus plus 2 is 7. 1 minus minus plus 2 is 3. Okay? x, y, z equals 0. Similarly, this is when lambda is minus 2. Now put lambda as 6. 1 minus 6 is minus 5. 5 minus 6 is minus 1. 1 minus 6 is minus 5. x, y, z equals 0. Similarly, if you put 3 in place of lambda, I don't have space here. Let's take it here. If lambda is 3, if lambda was 6, so if lambda is 3, 1 minus 3 is minus 2, 1, 5 minus 3 is minus, oh sorry, plus 2, 1 minus 3 is minus 2, right? Now, if you solve all, if you solve all of these 3, what you get? 3 by 1 matrix. 3x plus y plus 3z x plus 7y plus z 3x plus y plus 3z equals 0. Similarly from here what you will get? Minus 5x plus y plus 3z x minus y plus z 3x plus y minus 5z equals 0. Okay? Now, from third, you will get, I hope you can see from here, minus 2x plus y plus 3z then x plus 2y plus z then 3x plus y minus 2z equals 0. Alright? Now, let's erase it. If you solve all of these 3, taking 3x plus y plus 3 equals 0, because actually this is 0, we can write it in the form of this. So, first element equals 0, second element equals 0, right? So, 3x plus y plus 3 equals 0. Now, this is x plus 7y plus z. So, what we have to write? Um, it should be 3z, right? So, now if you, if you know how to solve, the, uh, how can we solve linear equations? So, you can opt multiplication. Elimination method, substitution method, right? So I'm doing elimination. If you multiply this with 3, 3x, 7, 3 is 21, 3z, and then subtract, right? Minus 20y equals 0, and y is 0. Putting this y is 0, both equations are same. So putting in this y equals 0, so 3x plus 3z equals 0. If you take 3 as common, x plus z equals 0 and x is equals to minus z. So how we write eigenvectors? x upon y upon z upon. So if you see x is minus 1z, so you can write minus 1 here. Y y is 0, right? And z is 
1. So you will get minus 1, 0, 1. The coefficient. Only the coefficient of the variables, right? This is your one eigenvector. Now, similarly, you can solve these two. Let me solve it. So, here, if you put minus 5x plus y plus 3z equals 0, and this is x minus y plus z equals 0, if you want to apply elimination, you can see these two can eliminate if we add them. Plus minus is 0, right? So just on adding, 5 minus 1 is 4. Because 5 is greater, so we put minus sign here. 3 and 1, 4z equals 0. If you take 4 common, it will become minus x plus z 0. x is equals to z, right? x is equals to z. Similarly, put this x is equals to z in the equation which you have not taken already. You have taken these two. Now, take the third one. So, you can put z as x, right? So, 5 minus 3 is minus 2. So, x, you can write it like y is equal to 2x, right? So, x, y, z. What's the coefficient of x? If you take here, coefficient of x is 1 by 2. Or you can write simply 1. Coefficient of y is, you can see, see. Coefficient of x is 1, right? Coefficient of y, I mean opposite of y, coefficient is 2. And here, opposite of z coefficient is 1. So your eigenvalues, eigenvectors are 1, 2, 1. Got? Got it? Thereafter, the last bit, but not the least, right? So, this is minus 2x plus y plus 3z. You are taking it as 0. Take another equation which is x plus 2y plus z. I'm again applying elimination method. So what you need to do? You have to make two variables as same as they are. So minus 2x, this is x. This is y, this is 2y. Let's multiply this with 2. Because after multiplying, this will become 2y and we can subtract it from each other. So it will become minus 4x, 2y, 3 to the 6z, so these two equations, if you subtract them, 5x minus 5z, 0, x minus z equals 0, right? So x becomes z. Now put this x, x equals z into another equation, which is this. So put x in place of z. 3 minus 2 is x plus y, x is equal to minus y. Now, your vectors are opposite of x is z, whose coefficient is 1. Opposite of y is x, whose coefficient is, sorry, whose coefficient is 1. And opposite of z, I mean, this is minus 1. And opposite of z is 1. So coefficients, I mean, the eigenvectors are these. I hope you really like this video. This is this was the second part of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. I am slowly, slowly uh, moving on with all, and I will go through all of your comments. Don't worry, I will make videos on all of them. Now, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to comment to it whatever videos you want me to do. Thank you so much. See you later.